Hi, in the last class we have studied functional dependency where f closure a set of functional dependency logically implies with f. To find f closure is very difficult for large number of attributes. Here only three attributes are there that's why we can find it but if it is more than 5, 10 attributes are there in particular database it is very difficult to find f closure. There are some rules through which we can find functional dependency. Armstrong axioms and inference rules. Armstrong axioms are reflexivity, augmentation and transitivity. Reflexivity says if A is subset of B, then B can function determines A. For example, there is a relational database where X, Y, Z are attributes. So X, Y is a subset of X, Y, Z. That's why X, Y, Z functionally determines X, Y. In the augmentation rule, if X function determines Y, we can add one extra attributes in both the side and xz the attribute of left is augmented now it is xz and function determines yz third rule is transitivity where x function determines y and y function determines z we can say x also function determines z this is transitivity rule what is the benefit of Armstrong axioms? If f is a functional dependency rules, for finding f closure for large number of attributes, it is very difficult. But if we are using these three rules, we can find a new functional dependency values which will be in the boundary of f closure. Some inference rules are also available. union if x functionally determines y and x function determines z through the union we can say x function determines y z we add these two attributes on right hand side in pseudo transitivity if x functionally determines y and in the functional dependency there is another rule where wy function determines z. w is also part of that relational database. So we can say from these two rules wx also functionally determines z. This is pseudo transitivity rule. And third is decomposition rule. It is just opposite of union rule. If x functionally determines y, z, we can say x functionally determines y and x functionally determines z. Further in the normalization, we will use these rules for finding the closure of functional dependencies and different keys. Thank you.